continuing my series on my personal pen collection. Today I would like to talk about what I consider to be a very special pen. Um, this is a pen that barely fits any pen pouch, so I have it in this Marchiaro pen pouch, which was the uh, uh, leather, <coughs> leather branch of, of Delta. It's an Amici Emperor. And the Emperor is a large pen. Uh, this is uh, an Amici Emperor. Uh, this is a, a Cross Botanica. So, I mean, it is, it is a substantial uh, uh, piece of writing equipment. And I think it has some, some really neat features. So, I, uh, I obtained this pen at the uh, Tilburg Pen Show. was a, a very, very special gift uh, from Aziza. Uh, we uh, we picked this up at the um, the table of the one man pen show Saj Minhas, as a lot of the pens in this collection uh, have been <clears throat> the number one pen enabler in the world. And there are two versions. Well, I mean, there's a couple of versions. There's two basic versions of the Urushi Finnish Namiki Emperor. There is the Vermilion, which is this, and then there is a black. Both are very pretty. Both are very nice. I prefer the Vermilion. Then there is a whole bunch of Marquier pens which, which very easily go into the five figures. Uh, this does not, but it's still not a cheap pen. Um, large ebonite body, Urushi lacquer on top, and a simple clip with a ball. Works well. Although I never really have this in a pocket. I mean, if you put this in a breast pocket, it would stick out about that far, right? So that, that doesn't really make sense. Cap screws off, and I always like to... Uh, what do I have here? Here's an Opera Elements. That's, that's by no means a super small pen, but just the, um, the difference in cap size is very interesting. Okay, so what about this, this pen? Large pen, yeah, substantial what they call a number 50 nib that's big this is a number 6 nib so you can see the difference there and it's an eyedropper with a one-way shot off valve so you you can unscrew this bit in principle you can pull this out uh, I don't typically really do that I just unscrew it when I need to fill it and you unscrew the section Put, take an eyedropper, bottled ink, and you just drop it in, and it holds about six milliliters of ink. That's that's a considerable amount of ink if you consider that the standard uh, uh, converter holds about you know under one milliliter, 0 0.7, 0 0.8. Uh, a lot, a lot of ink. Six milliliters of ink that that will uh, uh, that should tide you over for a bit. And I love that. I can show you close-ups of the pen. The issue is it doesn't really have... It, it, it's not a, a finish like this where there's all kinds of things to see. It is, it is just ebonite with a rushi on top. So there, there isn't really a whole lot to, uh, to see. Nice section. Tapers down, flares out a bit, and then a, as I said, a large nib. And the interesting thing is that the feed is also lacquered. At least, I think it's like, and I don't think that's that's red hard rubber, but it, it really seems to match the uh, the overall color of the pen. So that that really stands out. Nice, nice detail. When you unscrew this uh, this knob, the valve is pulled back a little bit on the inside, and you can write for a bit. If you don't do that, at some point it'll run dry. But the more you open it, the wetter the flow becomes and some people ask me if I could show that off so I'll, I'll try to do that in a writing sample. I mean don't don't expect the pen to go from barely writing to to a gusher but I mean you can adjust the wetness a little bit. I don't know how you can see that in the writing sample but we'll try. I think this is a great pen. It's it's uh, beautifully made. Clearly a large oversized solid piece and I think it's absolutely stellar. Now, for those of you who were wondering, yes, it does actually post. Why is a little bit beyond me. I don't think a lot of people really use this posted, but you know, it makes for a fun joke. And um, I think it's magnificent. It has a broad nib. Some previous owner stubbed this or had it stubbed. Uh, they did. A, whoever did it did a good job. It, it's a very nice, uh, nice nib now that has some nice line variation to it. it. Took me a little bit of time to get used to the specific angle because it seems to be ever so slightly oblique, uh, but 
it's a great pen and I, I mean, this, uh, I'm not sure if I would call this the, the, the crown of my collection, but if there is a crown of my collection, this is it. Because it's just a magnificent piece. And I absolutely love it. So, a great gift, which makes it even more special. A lovely pen to use, and not necessarily the easiest pen to carry around, given its size, but, hey, that comes with the territory. So there you have it, another pen of my personal collection. Let's see how it writes, because that's, uh, I, know, I know that's what you want to see. Um, that's coming up next, hope this was useful so far, and um, I'll gladly see you later. Bye bye. Okay, so here we go. With the Namiki Emperor in broad, the ink is Hiroshizuku. Tsuji, oh wow, Tsuji, sorry, barely legible. Um, I found that a really good match for the pen. I have that valve shut now, okay? So if I write, you see it's a sort of stub nib. I say sort of because I'm not really sure what the previous owner did to it, but it writes nicely, I think. Because you get a very nice natural line variation. Now, if I open up this valve, I'm going to exaggerate a bit and really open that up and give that a second. You get a very nice wet writer. See? Uh, which is definitely a lot of fun in, in using this pen. So, I have to admit, this is usually the mode I use it in, which is gusher mode. And you get a very nice wet line, and that's always hard to show off, but it's, I mean, it's obviously wet. And in that setting, it is for sure a nice, very wet writer. Line variation, I mean, it is a nib that actually has a little bit of spring to it, but it's not a flex nib, uh, for sure. But as I said, because of the way the, the nib is ground, you have this, this natural line variation. Um, which is actually quite nice, I think, and just adds to the, the overall enjoyment of the pen. Reverse writing is possible, but doesn't really make sense given the shape of the nib. So it's just a great pen to use, and I absolutely love it, and I absolutely love having this in my collection. It's, it's a perfect, beautiful, wonderful pen uh, that is a lot of fun to use, and that I, uh, I'm very, very fond of. So there you have it. Hope this was useful, and uh, glad to see you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.